Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the oil in a 2004 Honda Recon ES. This bike I just recently changed the motor in. It was an underwater bike and so the oil is not going to look specifically nice when I pull it out. It's going to be a coffee cream color and that is not the way it's supposed to be. But putting in some fresh stuff. Castrol GTX 1040. It calls for a quart and a half. I'd put the Honda stuff in, but I think I'm going to change the oil one more time. But uh, I'm going to show you how we do this. First of all, you need a 17 millimeter socket. That is to remove the plug on the bottom of the motor. Big wrench to knock it loose. Little wrench to work it out. Got a funnel to refill. Refill through your check which I will show you what the oil looks like now. It's full. It's only about two weeks old, which I've been using as the break-in oil. But as you can see, it's not very pleasant looking. Come on. You yeah, see how it's milky colored? That's because it's got water in it still. Should have seen it when I pulled it out the first time. I just put a new top end on this machine. So, it's still breaking in. Alright, here's what you need. So you got your funnel, your spray for the mosquitoes, 17 millimeter, your sockets, a rag for the oil, drain pan, something to lift up to make it a little bit easier to get to. I'm gonna lift the front end up, put the jack stands right under this piece. Let's see. About right there, I'll lift it up as high as I can get it where it's easier to get to. Then the back end, I'm just going to lift and support with the jack right underneath the rear end. Alright, let me get that done real quick. Alright, to raise the front end, I simply put my jack right under here. Let's see. Right at where the front cradle meets the main frame. There's a little bit of a flat piece of metal there. Then my jack stands are going right here, right under the A frame. Slow. There we are, nice and supported safely. And we'll lift the back end. All right, got the rear end lifted up. Raised it up by the bottom of that uh, guard. Got it up just enough to be able to make it comfortable to work underneath. And I have it as level as I can get it. Where when I go to refill, I don't have to worry about putting back on the ground first and all of that. All right, let's get started. Alright, I'm pretty sure you can see what we got going on here. This is the underside of the four-wheeler, as you may know. And back here, right there, is your oil plug. millimeter. Get you that there. Get you a socket. Pop her loose. It's a fine threaded bolt, so it's going to take a few turns to get it off of there. It's easier just to use a small ratchet instead of holding a big one up there. That loose. Get your fingers in there, get ready to make a mess. Alrighty, there it is. Nasty old oil coming out. There's your drain plug. Let that run a minute. All right, we're about empty here. I'm just gonna let you know that I did let this four-wheeler warm up for a few minutes. It's not really hot. It's just enough to stir everything up. And um, the fuel, I mean the oil filter on here is a screen. It's over on the clutch side of the motor. And uh, Honda recommends to change it or clean it every thousand hours, I think it is, or a thousand miles, or so many hours. And I haven't had to bike that long, so I'm not going to change it. Next oil change, I may change it. I'll make another video on how to change just specifically that. And uh, it's about time to put this oil plug back in. It's still dripping a little bit, but... Honestly, 
I don't think it makes too much of a difference. I get all of it out. We'll be sitting here forever letting it drip. And thread it in as far as I can. I'll move on to the ratchet. with that wrench. Get my big one. And you just want to snug this up. You don't need to kill it. There we go. Because this isn't steel. This will strip out. Alright, we're done underneath there. That's all that's necessary on the bottom end of the motor clean this nasty oil off my hands. It'll be a close up of that. Where that oil drain is. Right there. Alrighty. Pull your nasty oil out. It shouldn't be brown like this. It's because the person I bought it from sunk the bike. I just rebuilt the whole top end so it still had moisture in there. This oil is only about a week old. I've just been breaking it in with this oil and now that I've got it mostly broken in I'm going to change this oil see what the new oil looks like in a week and I may change it again it's not free to keep changing it like this I'll just put this over here by my oil drum I'll put it in there in a minute now we're going to start working on the top end of the motor oh yeah shout out to Wrangler Star Give him a thumbs up, like his channel. I like his shirt. It's comfortable. Alright, let's see. Funnel in. Get you your can of oil. Make it easy on yourself. Set the camera up on its little tripod thing, where it's easy to work on what you're doing. There we go. Bottle oil. milliliters. Put that there a little on the rest drain to the bottom. Now this one we're going to do half of. Hold up the light. That is a quarter. to have. It's a half. I don't know if you can see. Maybe. Right at a half. Let that soak in a minute. I've heard on forums, you check it with the dipstick screwed in, you check it with the dipstick screwed out, you check it with the dipstick upside down. There's so many different ways. I always check it with the dipstick just sitting in there, not screwed in. Because a tiny bit more oil won't hurt it. A lot more oil will hurt it. It's just as bad as having not enough oil. With a tiny bit of oil too much, that is good enough for government work. Screw your oil plug back in. 
put your bug spray away. Remove your jack. Four wheel only weighs a few hundred pounds, so you just get lazy and pick the front end up and lift it off the jack stands. And you're now ready to go four wheel. -in. We have successfully changed the oil in your 2004 Honda Recon ES 250cc or in the case of this bike about eh, 270cc because it's bored 40 over and this bike is ready for another day to hit the trails see what I can do with it thanks for watching if you like my videos please comment rate and subscribe and don't forget to check out Wrangler Star he has really cool t-shirts and pretty cool videos he does a lot of um, assorted uh, carpentry he does a lot of homestead stuff he lives somewhere near Mount Fuji I think he does mention that in his videos and someone you should check out because I really enjoy watching his channel and uh, thanks for watching